Greetings, church, and the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Ojahile. My name is Pearl Ojahile. Uh, I'm 26 years old. Get an independent assemblies of Botswana ko Mopani. Get fellowship. Uh, I fellowship at independent assemblies of Botswana in Mopani. Uh, Baba Yiting, Baba Yiting, Reverend John Philip. That's my bishop. Those who know Reverend John Philip, he's my pastor. Yes. So I came here last year. And God did wonders in my life. And just those two days that I came here. Okay, there was a crusade that was held at the church building. After preaching, I was an altar call. You want God to do for you. That if there's anything that so bad, I'm doing my And then I I just went forth because I was I've been I was struggling with bullets. I've been I was struggling with bullets. I've been I was struggling with bullets. I've and even the doctors didn't even know how to make a bullet about them. Barge when I'm on. The doctors could not even classify it either. Baba ngoba bubita anje na pictureisi. Baba ngoba reke pilu. And that's why saying it's a heart condition. Basi itzor baka bubita bare ma. Not knowing exactly how to name it. And it started in 2002 when I was doing standard four. Hasa bala kama kwa 2002 kwa kibali la kwa la bone. Neke kwa na kwa kolapsa hela ibe ku. I would collapse and pass out. <laughs> and we tried all. Even with doctors. But for 16 years, I struggled with this thing. But then, I struggled with this thing. I mean, at the crusade. The one that was held at the church building. It would be my very first day at the crusade. Ever since that day. Because I used to carry an asthma spray around for backup. But ever since that day. I've never used an asthma spray. almost every day. I used to use it almost every day. There was nowhere we could pass before I would pass out. But ever since that day, it can only be God. And I've never fainted. <laughs> It's only God. And you know this thing really affected me. It really affected my studies. And um, I did my first year, second year, third year and graduated my advanced diploma at Francis Town. And how also now graduate advanced diploma you proceed like automatically you proceed to the degree level. So I graduated advanced diploma in 2015. I attended first semester sa degree. Semester sa bobedi anjana ibe nkhanet. The second semester ibe ke sa khone. Boletse bo cuz ne ke khona go faintala le mo classe. Sometimes I just pass out even in class. And then I just decided, you know what? I left school. Last year, I applied for readmission. So we got me tiwa. That's how I'm doing my fourth year now. So na kwene crusade during the crusade. Yeah, like I'm saying, we had a lot of assignments, including projects. So I had this assignment when I was in the So I had this assignment when I was in the assignment. The assignment that I left that day, the one that I left for the crusade, was one where I had no lecture and it was actually complicated. 
Um, it's by the goodness of the Lord. And I remember go crusading, I said, um, when I was given that short testimony, I told Muruto Hore, it was, I left my, my assignments just to come to the just to come to the crusade. And these are the words that he said. You will emerge victoriously. And I tell you that moju I got a distinction for it. That's our distinction. And I have two distinctions. distinction is a I have two merits. merits is a It can only be God. And imagine I had left can I lead the deadline? Can we get an account of my guy again? Can I make a journey? Can I be sure we get this assignment? Can we make a tour? Can I make a journey? But I emerged victoriously. Make a journey. I have no concern. Hallelujah. So I just want to encourage you, individuals. Whatever it is that you are going through, give it to God. He will definitely do it for you. He will definitely make you victorious. He will definitely make you the head and not the tail. Hallelujah.